Hello, hello. Hi, Gabi. Hi, Helen. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing, girls? Almost. Almost finished. More or less, teacher. Girls, no está lloviendo en sus casas. Good evening. Ah, uh, yes. Hi, Gabi. Gabi, is that you? Hi, hi. Uh, good evening. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Really good. Ah, uh, yeah, it's raining here. Mm, okay, pero no, pero está tranquilo, or like a lot of rain. Yeah, yeah. Es bastante suave. ¿Cómo dice okay. lluvia suave? O lluvizna. Uh, well, it depends. Uh, if you want to say like lluvioso, so normally we use uh, raining. But if you want to say que está solo como lluviznando, that would be drizzling. Okay, so oh. it's drizzling. Oh, oh, okay, okay, sounds good. Yeah. So no es como mucho, right? It's not like a lot. Okay, good. Sounds good to hear. Uh, Helen, what about in your case? Is it drizzling? Is it drizzling too? I believe Helen is going. Gabby, but it's super nice to hear you. Um, how are you doing? Are you finishing uh, university? Are you about uh, to? No, not, not, not yet. I'm like working now because tomorrow I have a defense at 7 a.m. with my uh, classmates. So she will sleep with me tonight. And also uh, another defense. Uh, for another uh, like subject at 10 a.m. So wow. I have to prepare to, to work. Oh, I understand now. Okay, mm -hmm. but I truly appreciate that you are joining us, that you are here with us uh, in, in the best of luck, you know, in your presentation. So I hope the best for you. Thank you. So I get that now. <laughs> okay. Judy, good evening. How you doing? Good evening. I'm good, teacher. Thank you. How is the rain going there? In this moment? No, teacher. Oh, it's not raining there. So maybe it's just my house and my area. So it's raining here like cats, dogs, snakes, and, and frogs. frogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know hello, the animals hello. that you can think of. Uh -huh. How are you, Daniel? How are you doing? No, I relax at home. <laughs> day off? Yes, the last my last day off tomorrow um, I will start a night shift. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. But the good thing is that the night shift is like more it's relaxing, and, right? And relax, yes. It's not not problem. And you have almost all day long to rest, so you just go to work at night. Yes, you have yes, like yes, an extra yes. day. Mm -hmm. it, it's a, yes, it's a 50, 50, 50 no, five gate, five, five gate. Yes, yes. Oh, it's like okay. a three quarters of, of gate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds uh, really, uh, really cool. So that is that yeah. has to be good news. Um, guys, ¿me escuchan bien? Can you listen to me very well? Es que acá está lloviendo, pero súper fuerte. Yes, 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 miss. Okay. okay. Okay, that's good to hear. Let me see. Adolfo, good evening. Great to have you. And... Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to turn off my camera a moment mientras mi internet se mejora a little bit. Um, okay. Well, guys, and I'm super glad to have you on this Thursday. For some reason, siento que ya vamos llegando um, a viernes, right? I feel it is a Friday already. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, um, guys. The day is flight. Yeah. The day is flight. Yeah, right? That's yes. exactly how I feel. So that time is going super fast. Guys, ya vamos a septiembre, so we are in September already. And, 
in almost December, you know. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um, good evening, good evening, guys. Thank you for joining. Andrea, good evening, great to have you. Hey, Carlos, hello, thank you so much for making the time and joining us today. Well, guys, uh, today we are going to check um, Casi, llevamos en las últimas sesiones, so we are like in the last sessions of the module. Remember, guys, que terminamos el día lunes. That has to be really good job. Oh, well, really good news, I gotta say. Eh, si les llega a caer un correo de nota de satisfacción, please omítanla por el momento. Si les cae un mensajito que hay una eh, survey, como siempre lo hemos hecho anteriormente, omítanla, no la completen, please. Because esta es una de las actividades que hacemos juntos el último día. Christian, good evening. Uh, Noemi, hello, great to have you. Oh, Hi, me. see who else is coming. Hey, guys, how are you? How are you doing? Hello, good evening. Fine, Gracias, fine. Helen, no worries. Hello, how are you? Is everything hey. okay? Everything good? Take care. Yes. I sent today okay. that uh, document, uh, that evaluation. Eh, mandó la encuesta. Yes. Um, hizo, ok. <laughs> ok, no sé si les cayó la misma, guys, pues normally la mandan el último día. But, ok, again, <laughs> si les cae algo que dice encuesta de satisfacción, porfa, omítanla por el momento. Si ya le enviaron, pues, ok, <laughs> no worries, but, eh, but yeah, omitámosle, guys. Let's omit it just for a moment, because eso normalmente lo hacemos acá el día lunes, para que nos quede registro y confirmación que ustedes la completaron, you know, por eh, cuestiones de, de formato y requerimientos de insoport. Ok. So, uh, but, but it's all right, it's all right. So, yo creo que no lo había mencionado y hasta ahora empezaron a caer, too. So that is okay, no problem. Um, guys, solamente invitándolos a las últimas sesiones. Uh, we are finishing on Monday, right? So please do not miss those. Um, vamos a, a dar inicio. Let's get started today. Me dice, please, guys, uh, let me know. Okay, Adolfo, no problem. Let me know if si me llegan, uh, si me escuchan cortado or something, because acá está un poco fuerte. Um, guys, I have some exercises for you. Let's exercise your memory a little bit, okay? So, uh, guys, I'm gonna share one picture for you. Les voy a dar 15 segundos, I'll give you 15 seconds. So you can look at the picture and uh, get as much information as possible, right? Todo lo que puedan, everything you can uh, about this picture, pero sin tomarle a screenshot. So you're not supposed to take a screenshot, but uh, let's be fair. Okay, so let's get started, guys. I'm gonna show you picture number one. You have 15 seconds to memorize it, and then we continue. So one, two, three, uh, go. Guys, 15 seconds. And time is over. Okay, guys. <laughs> so time is over. Um, so I have a couple of questions for you, right? Uh, based on this picture that we have right here. Are you ready, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Let's see how many good answers uh, or correct answers you can get. So question number one. How Miss, many people, yes? Todavía vemos la, la imagen. I know, Miss. <laughs> mm, yes. Wait, espérame, permítame. Qué raro. Todavía la ven? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I know. You're not supposed to look at it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Qué raro. Super weird. Okay. Okay, okay. So, guys, uh, let's go ahead with some of the... Okay. I'm going to make them difficult questions because you have extra time to look at them. <laughs> okay. Guys, uh, question number one. How many people are wearing light, um, light colors, light shirts, or light blouses colors? Tres. Uh, five. Five people? Yes. Okay, Fifty what people. about what about the rest? How many? Six people. Two women, two men, and two children. So six. Six. Okay, so now I miss a six. Um, mm -mm. Christian, how many did you say? One, two? Five. Okay, you said five. Okay. Andre, how many did you say? I think four. Four. Okay, guys, let's do that. Um, so we are going to write the answers because in that way we can keep record. That's easier. And later uh, we can go over the questions. So question number one, so, so like colors, okay? Guys, please in the chat, can you write your answer super quick? So how many people uh, are wearing like color clothing? I mean like blouses or upper body, right? Blouses or shirts. Four. So write a number, please. Write a number, guys. I'll give you 10 seconds. Write a number. Uh, like, uh, uh, as white, for example. Uh, yes, remember that light son como colores claros, right? Probably pink, yellow, white. Uh -huh. So light color. Oh, okay. Light blue. Mm -hmm. I think two. Okay, so write it there, write it there so we can keep track of your answers. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, let's go with question number two. Name, name three fruits. So name three fruits. Uh, on the plate, wait, name three flutes, uh, the girl in white has in the plate. Okay, that's much specific. Uh, okay, guys. Banana, uh, banana, orange, and apple. Apple, apple banana, third, okay. Orange, apple, banana. Green apple and pear. Mm, interesting. Okay. Banana, orange, pear, apple. Okay. 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 Okay, most of you have okay, very similar answers. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, next question. What are the kids holding? What are the kids holding? In their hands, they had something. What are the kids holding? What do they have in their hands? What are they holding in their hands? Banana, okay. What are the kids holding? A glass of water, okay. Uh, 
a green apple or a pear. Oh, okay. Guys, what about the rest? What are the kids holding? Okay, nobody else? Okay, okay, okay. So let's see if some of you got like very uh, close answers. Uh, so let me share this with you. Let's take a look super quick. And uh, da -da -da -da. Give me one sec. Okay, okay guys. So question number one, how many people are wearing light color clothing? So you got one, two, three, maybe this one, four. And I don't know if you consider this light, probably four or five, right? If you consider the white and blue like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so question two is like how many, uh, which are the fruit that the girl has? Bananas, yes, oranges, apples, and yes, you're right. So probably green apple or probably a pear. Now, what are the kids holding? Guys, what do you think? What are they holding? What do you look from there? It's a green apple, green apple. and, green green banana. Apple? and banana. And pear. In, yeah, right? It looks like a, like a pear. Uh -huh. It's a uh, green apple I, and a pear. I, I think this is one of my <laughs> oh, it looks, but it, it looks, looks like a like little like smaller. Yes, looks yes. smaller. Okay. Okay, but very nice job, guys. Okay, I have something more challenging, I hope. So, look at this. Okay, I hope it's more challenging. <laughs> guys, you have 15 seconds to get as many things as you can. So, go, go. Don't take a picture, don't take a screenshot. Okay, and time is over. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, I hope you didn't take a screenshot. So let's go ahead and write your answers in the chat. So let me just make a line so we can know where to start with this picture. And guys, I have a couple of questions for you. Question number one, what color is the tent? What color is the tent? Mm. Okay, orange, okay. What color is the tent? Guys, for the ones who are Sorry. wondering, what is the meaning of tent? What is the meaning of tent? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Guys, it's what's like the meaning of tent? Tienda de campaña. Yes, tienda de campaña. Very nice. Okay. So what That's is it. the color of the tent? Uh -huh. Orange, gray. Okay, don't worry. Leave your answers. Orange, orange. Okay, okay. Or, oh, I don't know if you got the same. Okay, okay. Very nice. Next question, guys. Uh, we'll check later. Don't worry. Next question. Um, what are they using to put the containers in the stock? So what are they using to put the containers, right? The little containers, the soil. Um, and the stove because they are camping. So what are they using? Are they using a table? Are they using mm. a chair? 
What are they using in the car? What are they using? Woods. Mm, okay. Woods. A piece of wood. Okay. Llamen a este perro. Okay. Little lights, little lights. <laughs> ¿Quién, ¿Quién tiene un perrito? ¿Cuál es el nombre? Adolfo. ¿Cuál es el nombre? ¿Qué es? ¿Qué es? Okay. A table or a piece of wood. Okay, some wood. Okay. Next question. How many chairs? How many chairs do you see? Guys, how many chairs do you see like over here in the camping area? One, How many two, chairs do three, you see? Four. 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 Mm -hmm. four and like one table. Mm -hmm. Okay, so four. most of you say four. four. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, interesting. Next one, guys. Mention four objects um, on the. Uh, oh my God, what are you? Okay, uh, mention four objects on the table. <laughs> Obviously, um, they have something, okay? But vamos a llamarle table ahorita. So, mention four objects on the table. ¿Qué había sobre la mesa? What was on the table? Okay, interesting. Bread, fruit, spoon, glasses, little stove, stove, spoon, vegetables, table clothes, vegetable glasses, calorie, calorie, calorie food, glasses, fruit. Mm, okay, oh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay guys, and the last one. So this is what a sport, what a sport are the kids playing? So what a sport are the kids playing? Okay, Andreas, Sennis, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, interesting. Now let's go ahead and let's check the answers super quick. Badminton, oh, okay, okay, okay. So let me just show you here. I have just in my screen, guys. So question one, okay. So question number one is about um, the color. So what color is the tent, right? So yeah, this is orange, good job. That was orange. So second question, guys. Second question is about what are they cooking on? So yeah, this is not a table by far, right? They are, um, so they are camping. So because this is not a table, so what are they using? You said trees, okay, okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Wood, yes, that is acceptable. We can also say log, le llamamos como, como trozos, right? Como okay. piece of wood. Mm -hmm. But yes, piece of wood, uh, okay. trees, the trees, I don't know, that sounds okay. Sounds really good. How many chairs do you see? Five. 
Five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So there are five. I think that most wrote four in the chat. Uh, who wrote five? Nobody, right? No, I only see. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Angelica said five. Very nice, Angelica. Okay. And the last one is, what do you see? Oh, in the table. So what do you see here, guys? Uh, a stove, uh, cups, uh, coffee machine. So, yes, mm -hmm. some vegetables, a coffee maker, a stove, bread. Um, bread. Okay, <coughs> guys, how do you call this kind of paper? Our um. paper. Paper towel, towel paper, okay, okay, towel. paper towel, all right, toilet paper, okay, so either way, that sounds good. Uh, can I ben, what do you see? Because I saw in the chat that some people wrote fruit. Table clothes, ah, yes, yes, a table clothes, glasses. Guys, Ben Basito, do you see glasses? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Uh, let me see. Spoon. Uh, do you see a handkerchief or a spoon? Yeah. Panuelos, some spoons? Yes. The pink, or the pink handkerchief. Okay, okay. So that sounds good. I stove a pan. Do you see a pan here? Uh, yes. Hay como una, eh, una cacerolita, do you see a pen? Over the stove. This one. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that, okay. that can be, that can be. Okay, okay. Very nice, guys. A really good memory. And the last one, what is the sport they are playing? Guys, what is the difference between tennis and badminton? Uh, the ball is different. Yeah, I think this is a boy, the other is, I don't know. Yes, right. I, I, like I, I, I run. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. No, but also here you see kind of the rackets, but yeah, that looks like tennis. Okay, okay, guys, very nice. Yeah, very nice guessing, very nice uh, memory. Guys, necesito traer ejercicios más difíciles. <laughs> but very good job. <laughs> Looks really, really cool. Okay, guys. Um, so today vamos a trabajar un poquito. We're going to continue working eh, con eh, un tema bastante interesante, I would say, and poco común. That is the use of some important words. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we are going to work on some words that are a little complicated sometimes, such as uh, some, any, no, and every, right? Um, it is very common that we normally confuse them, but here we have a little list, like a very small list of the most common words that we use. So for people, for things, and for places. Let me read them for you, and then we are going to practice them a little bit. So uh, we have, for people, we can use someone, somebody, anyone, anybody, no one, nobody, everyone, everybody. For objects, we can use something, anything, nothing, everything. In all of them, they have a very specific meaning. For a place, we can use somewhere, anywhere, nowhere, everywhere. Now, the question is, what is the difference? How can we know when to use someone or somebody? Anyone or anybody, no one or nobody, anyone, everyone or everybody. It is very easy, guys. Um, actually, normally someone is like every individual, somebody is like a group, yeah, but, but still, 
what is the difference between some, any, and no, and every? Any idea? When do we use some, guys? Or when do we use any? Or when do we use no? Or when do we use every? Do you have any idea there? So let's let's go ahead with the most common, okay? Let's go ahead and check the most common. Any is more general. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> sorry, I got the flu. I'm sorry, okay. So very, very easy, guys. Uh, first, vamos con las de no. So no, son para todas las oraciones negativas. I mean, no, no one, nobody, nothing and nowhere, just all negativas. So they have a negative idea, but no puedo expresar con una, un auxiliar negativo. This is not possible, okay? So the sentence has to be positive. For example, uh, if I want to say, yo no le hablo a nadie, so that nadie, this sentence has to be positive. So I talk. To, oh, and here I got it. So I talk to nobody. Yeah, de un grupo le hablo a nadie. Or I talk to no one. Yeah, and that's it. So this one, when you have no one, nobody, nothing in nowhere, la oración no puede ir en negativa. That is one of the rules with these words. Um, I have, for example, nothing. Oh, we checked that before. I am doing. I am doing, my sentence is positive. I am doing nothing. Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to say is, no estoy haciendo nada. Um, bastante similar a las de any, but here, la oración no la he hecho negativa, agregándole el not, like this, right? I am not doing nothing. Mm -mm. So I'm, I'm gonna say, I am doing nothing, okay? What do you want? Nothing. Or if I ask you, um, ¿a dónde vas a ir el fin de semana? So guys, where are you going on the weekend? And you say, pues a ningún lado. So that expression of a ningún lado, I'm going to come to the last one that is, I am going nowhere. No voy a ninguna parte. So I am going nowhere. But if you take a look, the sentence has to be positive to use the no words. Siempre que se le anteponga no, la oración tiene que ser positiva. Guys, are we okay with those? Yes. People, pregunten, pregunten. <laughs> okay, si no hay preguntas, yo les pregunto. <laughs> okay, can you give me an example with no one or nobody that are very common? So no one or nobody? Uh no uh nobody have uh have a, a, a question ah very good nobody has a question excellent the young man's guys nothing nowhere um, nobody sorry sorry continue <laughs> Uh, nobody is going to the travel. I know what is going to travel. Okay. Mm -hmm. So nobody, nice. Nothing. Can you give me an example nothing, with nothing? Nothing is important to me. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh Only my, my God. life. Only my life. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. It's only for example. It's only for example. <laughs> no, but it's a very good example. I always remember Metallica song, Nothing Else Matters, you know? So, yeah, okay. <laughs> Nowhere, guys. This is probably una de las, de las expresiones que no usemos more often or that you may not be familiar with this. But remember that cuando hablamos de lugar, so I can say algún lugar, ningún lugar, um, todos los lugares. So that is the, what we want to say. But if I include no at the beginning, it's como a ningún lugar, a ninguna parte. Can you okay. give me any, an idea? Can you give me an example? Where do you I go? Am, I am going, I am going nowhere. Uh, nowhere. Mm. 
I am okay. I am going to work next next weekend. I'm going nowhere next weekend, yes. Or cuando también estamos como en una discusión sin sentido. So we can say, okay, look, we are going nowhere with this, um, you know, what? With this argument, right? Yeah. So nowhere is como a ningún lugar, a ninguna parte. So that's the one. Okay. So we have the ones with no. They are super easy. Solo recordemos. Van con oraciones positivas. Now, guys, let's go with the next ones that are the any. And I like this, I don't know why. Okay, what happens with any? Any is super special because we use any in questions and in negative, sen and in negative sentences or equations, right? So that is the difference. No goes with positive or normal sentences, but any only goes in questions. For example, ahora sí, guys, I want to say, nadie vino a mi fiesta. Oh, the sentence has to be negative. Yes, so I didn't. Um, or I can say, for example, no invité, let's say. So I didn't, negative, I didn't invite, I cannot say no one, uh-uh, I didn't invite anyone. I didn't invite anybody, ahora sí. So I didn't invite anyone to my party. I didn't tell anyone about it. Um, I didn't call anyone for help, all right? Si fuera anything de cualquier cosa. Um, so uh, I can say, for example, Hey, you got your delivery, you know, for pizza. And you say, pero es que yo no ordené nada. I didn't order anything. 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 Exactly. I didn't order anything. So again, si es negativa, pero la oración no lo es. So I didn't order anything. Or if you want to say, oh, so what would you like for dinner? Guys, ¿qué quisieran de comer? What would you like for dinner? So, ahora sí tiene mucho sentido, and this is going to sound super different because we are going to have anything. So, anything is like cualquier cosa, right? So, nothing, no quiero nada. Anything, cualquier cosa. So, that is one of the differences uh, between these two words, right? We got to practice this a lot, don't worry. Uh, and what about questions? Same thing. In questions, it is very common that we use any for questions. Uh, would you like anything? Would you like anything to drink? Um, so guys, would you like any, oh, I'm sorry. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, would you like anything to eat? So it is very common that we offer with anything como algo, right? Like uh, to offer something. Guys, are we okay so far? Are we good? Do you have any question? No teacher. Nobody? Anybody? Somebody, <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's I, I have a, I have a, a little talk uh, when we can use someone and to and to separate anyone from someone. You, you can you can get an example using both words, please. Uh, which ones? Uh, somebody, someone, and anyone. Someone and anyone. Yeah. Okay. And the same same things is possible. Mm, let me think about a, um, mm, mm, an example here. Okay. Um, yes, I think that's possible. So um, the difference pretty much, uh, I'm going to include no one. Uh, no one here because eh, ya no estamos hablando solamente de oraciones sino el sentido de ellos separados 
So yeah. uh, in Spanish, guys, someone is alguien. Um, anyone is como alguno o alguna. Okay. And no one is nadie, right? So yes, I can. Someone you can use in close conversation. Because um, where when you are Here, talking, someone's. yeah. Uh, well, okay, give me your example. I, I'm not uh, probably I'm not getting your question. Yeah, uh, for example, someone uh, you you can use you can use someone's when you are talking close with with other person other people, right? And for example, anyone. Is is not close to the conversation. Mm, I'm not getting the idea uh, because someone, anyone, nobody, everyone, todos son impersonales. Okay. So all of them, all of them are like impersonal because we mm -hmm. don't say names. Uh huh. So it's super super general. All of them. Okay. Um, because we don't have a reference, you know. I can yeah. ask you, for example, hey guys, uh, can someone mm. can someone help me uh, yeah. prepare the dinner? Uh, because nobody, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, offered to help, mm -hmm. and I didn't. I'm gonna write it so we get probably a clearer idea. And I didn't want to beg anyone. Okay. okay. So, so if you take a look at the three words that we have there, um, so we have someone. Can someone help me? Even lo puedo cambiar por anyone, right? Puede alguien, puede alguno. So can anyone help me? Can someone help me? Pero someone es más positivo. So this is why I use someone. Can someone help me prepare the dinner? Because nobody offered to help. And I didn't want to beg anyone. So if you take a look, negative sentence, oh, I'm going to use anyone. Yeah. But nobody is negativo también. Pero no puede ir la oración negativa. So this is the point. Pretty much todos son generales, guys. All of them are super, super general. Pero se usan de forma diferente. We use them in a lot of different ways. So, okay. someone, again, es alguno. Everyone es cada uno de los que están ahí, right? So, if I tell you, hey, guys, everyone needs to give me or needs to send me the homework. What am I trying to say? Okay, cada uno de ustedes son 16 o los 16. So yeah. everyone, if I tell you someone, uno, right? So alguien tiene que hacerlo. If I tell you anyone, pues no importa, cualquiera. Esa es como la idea de any. Cualquiera, no importa quién, but cualquiera. And no one, nadie. So those are like the main um, things with the um, with these indefinite pronouns, guys. Preguntas, dudas, doubts, questions. Okay, good explanation, teacher. Already, no doubts, guys. Me preocupa que no tengan dudas. <laughs> I'm super worried that you got no doubts about this. Okay, Maybe. guys. Maybe when, when we start to practice. Yes, exactly. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, that's exactly what I thought. Um, so because those words, no es que sean difíciles, pero son confusas. So guys, let's get it started little by little. I have some exercises for you. Let's start practicing them. And then let's see how it goes. So affirmative and negative sentences. I have a couple of examples here. Let me read them for you. It says, someone is knocking on the door. I want to tell you something. My keys must be somewhere. Is, any, is someone home? Is something wrong with the computer? So if you take a look, um, I'm, I can use them for affirmative. And also I am not using them in negative sentences. So los que comienzan con some, if you take a look at them, puedo usarlas en preguntas, en positivas, but not in negative. So if we take a look at the second part, so tenemos 
everyone, everyone knows her. Is everything okay? How does he know anything about me? All right. So um, again, we have the part of every, but every, ya sea, everything, everywhere, everyone, se refiere a cada uno de los miembros. If I tell you, for example, every, everywhere, en todos los lugares posibles. So everywhere it is raining. Oh, en todos los lugares sin excepción. Everyone is super cool. A todas las personas sin excepción, right? Everything, todas las cosas sin excepción. So that is the point with every. And guys, let's start practicing. <laughs> okay, here we have complete the sentences with somebody, anybody, or nobody. Maybe more than one answer is possible. So guys, enjoy it. Comenzamos con la primera parte de um, the body. Okay, let's see how it goes. Uh, so then we can move to the next uh, practice and we can start sharing answers too. Um, if you feel comfortable, you know, no es necesario que las escriban. You can just do it on your head or you can write them in the chat, no problem. I'll give you five minutes for this exercise.
Uh, two more minutes, guys. Let me know if you need some help. Okay, guys, did you finish? Do you need more time? Um, I finished. Okay, okay, nice. So guys, um, give me some possibilities here. Remember, more than one answer is correct. Uh, so number one, there is in the classroom. Uh, what can we say? I have nobody. Okay. Ah, very good. Okay, there is nobody in the classroom. Okay. Uh, somebody. Somebody. There is somebody, somebody. in the classroom. Come on. There is anybody. There is. Mm, solo que el anybody lo usamos en negativas. So this one is a positive sentence. Is, uh, Sorry. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. No, but, but you got it. Okay. okay. So okay. there are a couple of possibilities. So we can say, I, yeah. nadie, o hay alguien. So there is somebody, there is someone, so, or there is nobody, or there is no one. So both yeah. the four of them are correct. Okay. Obviously, everything depends on what you want to say. <laughs> Number two, there isn't in the garden. Oh, negative. There isn't. Anybody. 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 No, anybody. There isn't anybody. There isn't anyone. Yes. No one. Okay. Mm, no one. Quizás no here. Porque tenemos negativo ya. Y el no es otra negativa. So la doble negación no la estamos en inglés. Okay. But there isn't any. Si van super game. So there isn't anyone. There isn't anybody. Uh, incluso puedo utilizar los de thing. Uh, pero no está la instrucción. Next one. There is at a school at this time of the day. It's closed. There is? Nobody. Nobody. Anybody. There is nobody. There is no one. And it says it is closed. ¿Por qué no puedo utilizar somebody or anybody? Uh, because the school is closed. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the school is closed, no puedo utilizar some, right? Because anybody because uh -huh. is positive. Exactly. And anybody, I use it with negative sentences. Exactly. There we go. Okay. So next one, guys. Who are you going to visit? I'm going to visit, but it's a Somebody. secret. And somebody. somebody. Very somebody. nice. I'm going to visit somebody or someone, right? Someone, somebody, that's okay. I'm going to visit someone. That's okay. 
What's happening? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody Very knows good. Nobody. <laughs> exactly. Nobody knows. No sé si vieron un TikTok. And uh, el TikTok decía de hecho esto. Nobody knows. <laughs> so yeah, that was really interesting. Next one. Do you know? Somebody. Somebody. Ah, look. Esta Any... es pregunta. So hay Body. dos posibilidades. Yes. Do anybody. you know somebody in Rio de Janeiro? Do you know anybody in Rio de Janeiro? Do you know anyone in Rio de Janeiro? So they, yeah, they are good. The four possibilities are good. Next one. Uh, who did you meet? The party was over. Uh, anybody. Somebody. Okay. Anybody because the party's over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, veamos cada uno de ellos. Somebody is alguien. Anybody is como cualquiera, cualquier persona no importa. And nobody is nadie. So, uh, who nobody. did you meet? Uh, ¿A quién nobody. conociste? Nobody. 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 The party was over. Exactly. Because si yo dijera somebody, no tendría como mucho sentido decir que conocí a alguien si terminó la fiesta, right? And anybody es cualquiera. So probably not. So that is the one. Uh, next one. I'm lonely. I don't have... Anybody. Anybody. Anybody, anybody to anybody. talk to. Yes. Like the, the drama queen, <laughs> the forever alone. Okay. No. Yes, guys. So there we go. Somebody, recordemos. Nobody loves alguien. me. Nobody, <laughs> nobody loves. Oh, I like that example. <laughs> nobody loves me. Uh -huh. eh, anybody. Es cualquier persona, sin importar. Cualquiera, anybody. Okay. And nobody, nadie. So let's try to keep this in mind. Okay, guys. Now, uh, let's go to the material because I have some exercises for you. Give me a moment. Give me just a moment. Let me share this. In a second. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, and let's practice the following uh, conversation, guys. So we have the same thing, you know, uh, nothing, anybody, anything, etc. So it says, Olivia and Leo are brainstorming ideas about branding for Olivia's online business. Read the conversation and take turns. Um, I can't escuch. No, I mean, please help me read Olivia's part. And hey Kenya, espero que siga mejor, Miss. Thank you for joining. And Carlos, please help me read Leo. Leo. Yes, please. Okay. okay um. Did somebody start to read? Olivia. Uh, Noemi, Noemi will help right. us with Olivia. Ah. Okay. Okay. Um, I am trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Do you mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least, at least five times at last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, the sign happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made, when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never notice anything? I think you better hire a consultant. Olivia, they will help you with your bin, with the business. 
Okay, very nice. Okay, guys, so if we, we'll, thank you. Thank you, uh, Noemi, thank you, Carlos. Okay. Very nice there. So guys, let's take a look at a couple of expressions we have, like, I don't know nothing about branding. Um, es bastante común que veamos esa expresión, I don't know nothing, but being super honest, um, this is not correct. So, si la vamos a escuchar mucho, um, la podemos utilizar because that is common, uh, pero gramaticalmente, uh, y si queremos llegar uh, o sonar, you know, a little bit more advanced, uh, esta sería una forma incorrecta. So the most correct is, I don't know anything, or I know nothing. I know nothing, I don't know anything. So I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. I don't know anything. Oh, I look at this. I don't know anything, Olivia. I never noticed nothing. You never noticed nothing. anything. Uh huh. So we can also use never como forma negativa and then use anything too. So podemos com com uh, combine them this way, right? So I have a couple of more exercises so we can later go for a speaking, right? And let's take a look at this. It says how to avoid double negatives. So a eso le llamamos dobles negaciones, right? Uh, I don't know nothing. I don't want nobody. So estamos negando dos veces. In Spanish, this is super common. Y lo usamos every single day, right? Yo no sé nada. <laughs> Guys, ¿cuáles son las negaciones que usamos? What are the double? Well, de hecho, nosotros usamos muchas en Spanish. So, yo no sé nada. Subirse para arriba, no bajarse para abajo. <laughs> Subirse para arriba. You're right. Uh, yeah, we use a lot of things. Uh, so, uh, y de hecho. Para afuera. Yeah. Para <laughs> afuera. <laughs> Pero es cierto, we use them a lot. Uh -huh. So, but in English, that is not correct. So take a look at this one. Two negative in a sentence are considered ungrammatically in English. No es que no se puede usar. No, don't take it wrong. Si se puede, pero no suena bien. That's the point. The recommendation is to avoid using them since the result is that a statement like I don't know nothing, mm, no, could be interpreted differently as I do know something. Dice que según esto puede, podemos dar la idea opuesta, pero para ser honesta, simplemente se oye un poquito mal. We, it's not heard correctly. So look at this. We don't publish nothing unrelated to the benefits of the product. Negative, negative. Uh oh. So we don't publish anything. We can change it. The company didn't get no additional sales, pero ya dijimos didn't. So the company didn't get any additional sales you know, sales. The experts never said nothing. Oh, never is negative. Said nothing is negative. Si se puede, pero no suena tan bien como the experts never said anything. So look, never nothing, mm -mm, never anything is the correct way. Okay, so look at the following examples y luego ya vamos con speaking practice. So look at this, correct the double negative mistake in each sentence. Guys, vamos a hacerlo juntos, let's do it together. Number one, the department doesn't know nothing about branding. What is the mistake and how can we correct it? The department doesn't know anything. Yes, doesn't yes. know anything. Doesn't know and anything mm -hmm. about branding. Exactly. So, tenemos nothing y tenemos doesn't. So, we have a double negative form here. So, hay dos posibilidades, right? There are two possibilities. Eh, o le quito doesn't. The, the department knows nothing. Or the department doesn't know Anything, Anything, as you said. So ambas están bien, both are correct. Okay, number two. The manager never tell us nothing about the plans to improve the brand of the business. Never and nothing. 
or any. Nothing. So, ¿cuál sería la forma correcta? What would be the correct way here? The law of anything. anything. Anything or... Anything. Anything about the plans to improve the brand of the business. Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly, exactly. That is the one. So, the manager never tell us anything. That is the correct anything. conjugation or way to put it. Next one. I don't have nothing against billboards, but the truth is they are too expensive. I don't, I don't have, have anything. anything. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There you go. So I don't have anything against. Uh, guys, who can help us with number four? We didn't get no increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. We didn't get any increase very nice yes yes good exactly so that is the one any any, any. right mm -hmm. yes that is correct okay Thanks. that is correct okay um, and the last one the customers don't want no change in prices the any customers change. don't want um, any um, change in prices Mm -hmm. Exactly. So and the customers don't want any change in prices. Okay, guys, I'm super happy to hear you got it. Excellent job. Very, very nice. So these are the ones um, that we have with this double negative form. And guys, before moving on, antes de adelantarnos with the following part, I want you to come up, okay, and try to, hi, Delmi, good evening. And let's try to make some, um, or let's try to express some ideas we normally say in Spanish to English. ¿Cuáles son algunas expresiones que decimos eh, in Spanish con una doble negación? Por ejemplo, esta parte de yo no sé nada. So, ¿qué más, guys? What are some expressions that we use? Like, yo no conozco a nadie. Yeah. Yo no hice nada. Yo no hice nada. Uh -huh. Víctima. <laughs> ok, what else? No pues, comí no. nada hoy. Ah, ok. Yo no comí nada. Ok. So, yo no salí a ningún lugar. Okay. Any any other idea that comes to your mind? Something that we normally make double negative for with? Yo no tengo. Yo no, no ah, tengo. yes, yes, yes. Yo no tengo nada, right? Okay. Yes, I think we can use them. All right, guys, very or nice. Or affirmative. Maybe. Ninguno me dijo nada. Ninguno me dijo nada. Oh, super negative. <laughs> Ninguno me dijo nada. Okay. But we use it. We use them a lot. Okay. Ninguno cuando hay varios. Especialmente con nada, right? So we use, uh -huh, con ninguno, oh. con ninguna, con nada. Mm -hmm. So we use oh. them a lot. Okay, guys, very nice. So now the exercise is really interesting. ¿Cómo los dirían en inglés? <laughs> so we already got them, right? They are, they have double negative form in Spanish. Remember, hay varias formas de decirlos en inglés. So what would be the way to say this, but in English, right? Guys, I'll give you three, four minutes. No los escriban, don't write them. Just try to say them in your head, right? Try to put them together. So, como dirían, yo no comí nada. Yo no salí a ningún lugar. Yo no salí con nadie. Um, yo no salí con nadie. So, yo no salí con nadie. Okay, there we go. Guys, uh, three minutes. Think about them.
Um, okay, everybody. So let's go ahead and check the questions you have. So, okay, okay, no worries, Andre. Thank you. Guys, number one, yo no sé nada. What would be the correct way to say this? I don't, I don't know. know anything. I know nothing, maybe. Okay, yes, yes, that's a possibility. I know nothing or I don't know anything. anything. Very good. Exactly, I don't know anything. Next one, yo no conozco a nadie. I don't know anyone. Very good. I know no one or no Yes, one. I know no one, exactly, exactly. Next one, yo no hice nada. I did nothing. I didn't know anything. anything. I didn't anything. Mm, pero a didn't me le falta algo. I didn't. Didn't do. do. Didn't do. Correct. I didn't, I didn't do anything or creo que escuché a I Yuri. I did nothing. Yes, exactly. I did nothing or I didn't do anything. Exactly. We have both of them. Yo no comí nada. I, I, I didn't eat uh, any, anything. Very good. I didn't eat anything or I... I ate, I, not I, nothing. I, I ate nothing. I ate nothing. Yes, guys, you are super pro. Wow. Okay, yo no salí a ningún lugar. I, I went didn't, I didn't go. nowhere. Oh, that's a possibility. I went nowhere. Uh -huh. I went nowhere. Or I didn't. I didn't, I didn't go, go anywhere. Anywhere. I went I, nowhere. I uh -huh. nowhere. Or I didn't go. Go out, go out. anywhere. Anywhere, yes, exactly. Very good, very nice, very, very nice. Okay. Uh, yo no tengo nada. I have nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing. Guys, como no se les va, no van a recordar la canción. <laughs> so I have nothing, exactly. Or I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. uh, pero hablando de, de tener, right? Um, de posesión. Ninguno me dijo nada. No one no. saying me anything. Super cerca. No. Solo con el verbo. Me. Solo con el verbo. Yes. <laughs> yes. So nobody told me anything. Yes. Or nobody said to me anything. Uh -huh. So both yeah. are okay. All right. Eh, yo no salí con nadie. I didn't go with anybody. Uh -uh. Anybody, exactly. Anybody. Okay, I must didn't. I didn't go out with anybody. Mm -hmm. Or, or, I didn't go out go out with any with anyone. anyone? Mm -hmm. wow. Pero hay otra. I uh -huh. out nobody. Casi, casi. I Pero went. es en pasado. I went. I went. I went with But nobody. Is, is, I went. Is, no, go out, es salir, no, no. Ir. Yes, yes, go out, es salir. Pero el pasado de go es went. Ajá, uh -huh. so I can say, 
I go out with no one, with right? Nobody. Pero como or, es pasado, lo cambio a went. I went out with, with no one. one. No. Mm -hmm. And it is exactly the same. Lo único que hacemos es cambio de, de tiempo gramatical. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm super happy you rocked it. Okay, good. Now, guys, tengo un par de preguntas para ustedes. I have a couple of questions for you. I'm going to say them in Spanish, but please, guys, necesito que las cambien a inglés. I need you to change them to English, and let's see how it goes, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Yep. Okay, yeah. perfect. No, but now, <laughs> no, but here we go. Okay, guys, so let's get it started. Good. Um, one second. Okay, question one. ¿Qué es algo que todos hacen que te molesta? Le pueden escribir. You can write it, guys. You can es? write it. You can write it in the chat. So, ¿qué es algo que todos hacen que te molesta? Uh, teacher, we have to write the, the same question. In English. Okay. <laughs> yes. Es algo que todos hacen que te molesta. Ready? What is something? Everyone. Okay, Christian, la primera parte, what is something everyone? Hasta ahí estamos perfecto, like super, super cool. Guys, vamos formando la entre todos, if you prefer. What is, ajá, uh -huh, que es algo que todos hacen que te molesta. Les voy a ayudar con el verbo molesta, eh, because it is a verb. Guys, how do you say molestar? Nice. Correct. Okay. Yeah, uh, but both are correct. So annoy. Yeah, annoy bothered. is perfect. No, annoy or bother. Mm -hmm. So good. Good, good, good. That's the one. So guys, ayúdenos con las preguntas. Help us with the questions. Eh, so la primera parte de Chris and you can look at the chat. La primera parte está super genial. What is something everyone? Y de ahí vamos a, you know, make it a little bit. Um, uh -huh. does? Does, does. Okay. What is something everyone does? That annoys. That, that annoys you. you. Yes, very good. Exactly. What is something everyone does that annoys you? That is the one. So let me write it here. Um, that bothers you? Yes. We can also use that. Very good. So that annoys you Teacher, or that bothers you? DM, tell me. With with everyone, we use does too. What is some, yes. Uh, yes, es una muy buena pregunta. That's a really good question because I'm going to mention it. Thank you. Uh, ¿Por qué vamos a utilizar does? Porque todas las palabras que acabamos de ver, guys, se consideran uh, terceras personas. Because I don't know si es uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Esto de acá siempre se va a considerar terceras personas. So yes. Um, what is something that everyone, si lo cambiamos, si decimos that everyone, sería lo mismo. What is something that everyone does? 
what is something that someone does? So it is the same. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Guys, ya tenemos la pregunta. Do you have it? Can we go for two? Are you ready for the next? Yes. Okay, guys, let's go with the next one. The next one, no, it's too difficult. Wait, I'm gonna leave it for the last. Okay, next question. Confías en alguien tan pronto como lo conoces? Confías en alguien tan, pr tan pronto como lo o la conoces. No hay género, right? So, lo o la conoces. Okay, are we ready? I see a couple of possibilities. Okay. Uh, do you trust someone just when you meet them? Uh, super close. Do you trust anybody? Okay. Uh, do you trust someone as soon as you meet? Okay, Judy, you're super close. Do you trust anybody as soon as uh, Adolfo, very close as well, but nos falta un poquito there. Judy, la suya está casi perfecta, uh, pero me le falta, oh, no, 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 me le faltan dos palabras. You're missing as. two words. Okay, as, as pero as falta you. algo más. Uh -huh. Do. Yes, beginning. exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you trust someone as soon as you meet them? Yes. So, mm -hmm. esta expresión tan pronto como, we use it in English as soon as, uh -huh. So there we go with the question. So do you trust someone as soon as you meet them? Podemos utilizar acá someone or veo que algunos utilizaron anyone uh, or anybody. Anybody. Ambas están bien. So do you trust someone as soon as you meet them? Okay, very good. And I just got one more question. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay. Wait. No, that question is too depressing. Let me think about another one that is not that bad. Okay, so the last question is, ¿Hay algo que quieres hacer en algún momento de tu vida? 
sea, ¿Hay algo que quieres o quieras hacer en algún momento de tu vida? Okay, let me take a look. Is there something do you want something to do in a specific moment in your life? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything that you want to do at mm, okay. Is there something what you want to do in any point of your life? Mm, okay, Christian super close. Is there something you want to do at some point? Is there something? you want to do at some point of your life. Judy, super close. Is there anything that you want to do in some moment in your life? Okay, Imelda, super, super close. Is there anything that you want to do in some moment? Super close. Uh, there is something you want to do at some, okay. Okay, guys, so let's say, Let's start with is there, right? Because we want to know. So, is there So, this is a question and como no estamos seguros, vamos a utilizar algo que sea bien general, bien vago. Is there anything? Um, el that no es necesario, but we can include it. So, is there anything you want to do? Y luego tenemos en algún momento de tu vida. Guys, how can we say en algún momento? Sin decir momento. Sin utilizar la palabra momento. Sometime. Somewhere. Anytime. Mm, casi, casi, casi. Uh -huh. Anytime. Aparte de anytime. Vi por ahí, son, eh, eh, vamos a usar la palabra point, exactly. Is there anything that you want to do at some point in your life? Okay, very good. So nice. I like your question. Super, super cool, guys. So we got these three questions we can discuss. Um, question one, what is something that everyone does that bothers you? Do you trust someone or anybody as soon as you meet them? And is there anything that you want to do at some point in your life? Guys, vamos a practicarlas. We gotta practice them for a couple of minutes, okay? Uh, so be careful, eh, siempre vayamos escuchando, monitoreándonos eh, con el uso del any, del song. Uh, si escuchamos algo that you're not sure, Escríbanlo y lo compartimos luego. Guys, vamos a compartir. Vamos, please, a discutir las tres preguntas. And then we come back and we share. So we got some minutes. Let's go, people. Let's go to the groups. Mm.
Give me just a moment. I'm still missing a couple of people here. But probably they left already. Okay, guys, so thanks a lot for participating. Uh, we were in this part of the indefinite pronouns. I heard like very good comments on it. Uh, I heard you guys using them properly, so that is good. Guys, solamente el reminder, terminamos el día lunes. Please no se vayan el día de mañana. Um, you know, um, somewhere. <laughs> Siempre conectense, please. So try to uh, join us for a couple of minutes. And of course, eh, solamente el recordatorio nuevamente. Si les cae la encuesta de satisfacción, no la completen todavía, please. Esperemos hasta el día lunes. So this thanks. Emails to the to the email. Yes, yes, today. Yeah, we got it. Today. So, si ya lo tienen, um, you know, por cuestiones de registro, de seguimiento yeah. de Instagram, esperemos hasta lunes, please. Let's wait until yeah. Monday. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you guys for that. Thank so, you. thank you guys. Gracias por acompañarnos el día de ahora. I hope you have a very nice Friday and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, people. Good night, everybody. See you. Bye. Sleep well. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.